Hey, doing Jersey? Welcome to the Star Ledger Newsroom, Wednesday, December 17th. You know, there was an interesting comment on the NJ.com news blogs yesterday, taking me to task for the way Ledger Live has uh, presented the Rutgers University football story. And this person, High Mighty, said, it does seem that you are truly excited to bring negative remarks about Rutgers. You always sound so bitter towards RU. It shows in your movements. Now, I read that and at first I said, that's sort of a silly comment. I mean, first of all, I'm a big fan of Rutgers, of football, and the university in general. And second, how would my bitterness, if there were any, show up in my movements here as I host the show? Then someone who works here came up, tapped me on the shoulder, and said, you know what? Guy has a point. You might want to check it out. So I went back and looked at a couple of stories, previous stories that we have done here on Ledger Live about Rutgers University, and I couldn't believe what I found. Well, it's graduation day at Rutgers University. Thousands of graduates are Rutgers football stadiums like Rutgers of Rutgers University. So, you can imagine I was shocked to see how I had been comporting myself here when I do Rutgers stories. So I came in this morning and said, you know what? Turning over a new leaf. So where'd you go to school? Rutgers University. Uh-huh. What, what year did you graduate? 2000. What, what school in Rutgers? Cook College. <laughs> See, we had to have some fun with that comment. I was surprised because I am a big Rutgers fan, so I'm not quite sure what they're uh, looking into there. But speaking of my own personal shortcomings, you know, I realized with Christmas coming the other day after watching this next video that I have never seen or read Charles Dickens' Christmas Carol. I know, it's terrible. But to make up for this, I have got to try and get to the McCarter Theater in Princeton over the next couple of weeks. Check out the video. A Christmas Carol is the Charles Dickens story that has delighted audiences for generations. McCarter Theater in Princeton is putting a spin on this year's holiday classic. The trick is to bring something fresh to a story everyone knows. Irish actor Dermot Crowley plays Scrooge. A veteran of Broadway and the London stage, he has appeared in movies such as Octopussy and Return of the Jedi. This is a scary part. I mean, this is almost sort of Shakespearean in its, uh, in its kind of breath, really, um, because the, the journey he goes on, the emotional journey, is huge. And he's in, I think, almost every scene. Um, so there's no rest. Uh, Charles Dickens didn't uh, give people rest. Shakespeare was very clever. He used to give uh, the, those big parts a half an hour off or something to go to the dressing room and have a cup of tea, but that doesn't happen here, I'm afraid. Thank you, sir. Most actors tell me that whenever they play famous roles, what they do is never look at anybody else's interpretation. So I think one of the reasons that Dermot's performance is coming across as fresh is because he doesn't know what the other Scrooges were like in years past. Nevertheless, the wonderful thing about his performance is he has an energy, a bit more youthfulness than some of the other Scrooges we've seen. Scrooge has to do a lot of physical tricks in this production, which apparently he was not notified of when he accepted the job. He's been uh, quite the trooper about flying, diving through holes, and doing all the other physical bits we make him do. I love the flying. Um, it's fantastic. Um, uh, it, it terrified the life out of me, but I think I'm, I think I'm beginning to enjoy it now. Yeah, I think so. Dermot Crowley will appear at McCarter Theatre through December 28th. Ah oh man, it makes me want to check that out. Hey, I forgot to mention this uh, in the previous segment. I was so caught up in my own uh, pop and groove routine, I forgot to mention this ad in the, the Star Ledger today by supporters of Rutgers football program. Alumni, 200 supporters, uh, took out an ad in the Star Ledger giving their side of the, their version of events on the Rutgers football story as well. All right, that wraps up Ledger Live for today. Send us your photos, videos, emails, shoot them to us at ledgerlive at starledger.com. And stay tuned tomorrow for our 100th episode of Ledger Live. It's going to be a special one. I'm not giving anything away, but here's a hint. Pork roll. Check it out. All right, Jersey, take it easy.